Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about something that I love doing for so many years and I love doing my own nails. Up until a point where I was like, I can get, I can pay someone to do my nails and I got them professionally done for a couple of years and I just decided, you know what, I want to do my own nails again. I'm wasting so much money. Um, but the problem was I gave away my entire kit. You guys, I had so many nail things. I had so many different colors. I had so many different tips, so many different gels and all of that. But I gave all of that away and my UV light was kind of trashed. So when we moved, I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a brand new nail kit because over the years I've kind of found my type of nail. So I will always do like a nude a light pink, a French pink. Um, the only color that I will do is a red and then sometimes I will do like a dark red or like a dark brown in winter, but that's kind of like my nail moods. It's nude, nude, and sometimes nude. <laughs> so I wanted to start, not start, I made a few nail videos in the past, but I wanna officially start this nail series and bring you guys more nail videos. So I went ahead and I bought a few things to kind of restart my kit and just to make it easy and convenient for me to do my nails. And even though I'm showing you guys how to do my nails or how I do my nails on like a very pretty setting, I normally just do my nails in front of the TV while I watch a movie and that's how I do my nails. So next time maybe I'll show you guys how I really, really do my nails, but this is kind of just you know the principle of that so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my nails this is the finished result so this specific video is focused on how I do my own fill at home so basically what I will do sometimes is I will go to the salon I will get a set done like tips and acrylic and then as soon as it's grown out a little bit I will file it and fill it myself and then I'll do that maybe twice and then maybe I'll go back into the salon to get like a brand new set but I want to you know stop doing my nails all together and just share it with you guys because if I can save some money I can save you guys money as well so this specific video is going to be focused on how to do your own fill at home so basically I have a set of nails and I'm just going to fill them so it's not doing my nails from scratch just so we get that out of the way so I hope you guys enjoy and let's do our nails okay so what you will need is day Definitely a like UV light. I got this one that I can plug into my laptop. It's so small and so convenient. You will need a buffer, a nail file, and then I do this acrylic powder with the nail glue, and then I have my gel of choice. So first we're gonna start with um, the buffing. So I have my buffer here and my nail file. So what I'm going to do is I don't remove the polish. I just kind of like buff it. So this step depends on what you had on your nails before. I had a set of acrylics. And then I went into the salon just to get normal OPI or Morgan Taylor. I can't remember what I did. So this is basically normal nail polish, OPI, Morgan Taylor on top of acrylics. So depending on what you had on your nails will depend how you're going to remove it. So you can always take a um, cotton round with some acetone and just remove the polish. Um, but if you had acrylics or gel on I would recommend just filing the edges to get your nail smooth again as if you're gonna apply a brand new set but it's actually just gonna be kind of like a full okay so you want to go ahead and just do this with all of your nails until all of them kind of look like that okay so I just um, through all of the dust in the dustbin so that I have a clean paper towel and next I'm going to do something that you don't see salons do 
that much. I, I haven't seen anyone do this in a salon yet. So um, you see these parts over here and this part up until the middle is just my nail. So the acrylic has been grown out from the middle down. So if I can explain to you, the nail is very kind of like flimsy, if you can see that. Okay, so instead of breaking that off, I use a acrylic powder and a nail glue. So what I do, this one is just kind of like a nude powder. So very similar to the actual color we're working with, but you can use anything. Basically, they have a clear as well. And what I do is I literally paint not close to the cuticles at all because you don't want that in the cuticles and then you kind of let it dry for like two seconds and then what I do is I literally dip my entire finger in there and then I tap it off now, sometimes it dries too quickly over here, so let me show you the next one. You see, so that I left to dry a little bit too long. So I'm not going to let it dry at all, so I'm going to do all of my fingers and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so once I've done the one hand, I will go over it. So once the um, glue and the acrylic powder has dried up, you will feel your nails are a lot stronger. I mean, I can feel that they're not as flimsy, but they can still like move. But I'm going to shorten them because I'm just feeling like a little bit shorter. But first, I'm just going to take my buffer. My mom made me this little thing. <laughs> it's kind of like a hand rest for your nails, especially if I do like tutorial. So she got that for me, how cute is that? She didn't get it, she actually made it. So I'll ask her how she made it and then I can do like a video on it as well. Okay, so once all of my nails are perfectly smooth, I need to Kind of file the edges because I'll show you a close-up. The tip is growing out so it's kind of making like a sharp pointy whatever thing on the sides and it looks really stupid so I'm just gonna smooth that out. And then in that same process I will shape them and shorten them as well so I'm just gonna go a little bit by a little bit. And you also need to do a little bit on the top, I find, because you're obviously like shortening them so it's like a block at the end. So you kind of just need to round the edges. Okay, so that is the before and the after. I haven't taken away any of the shape, but I have made it a little bit shorter, so I'm going to do all of my nails, and then we can get started with the gel. And then it's time for the gel, so I'll use my little lamp, but before I start, I will just make sure, because I obviously washed my hands now, so I can see the shape properly, and I will kind of just make sure that the shape is what I wanted it to be. It's always better to look from this angle than to shape like this. I don't know, I just find it a bit more accurate, a bit more uncomfortable and weird, but 
gonna be a lot more accurate. Okay, so now we're gonna get started with the gel. So the gel that I am using is by the brand O the BD. I went to a place by Chinatown recently and I got this there. But I will try and find some gels for you on Amazon so you can purchase them. But you can purchase gel almost anywhere nowadays. You can go for Planet Nails, you can go for Chinatown, or you can go to like the beauty expos and they sell these all over. So this is in the color 092. It's a very pretty um like winter nude color so it's almost like a warm nude but i want to try and do very very light coat so that it almost comes out this color so i'm gonna start with the first coat this little lamp pops open like this oh i don't want to break a nail <laughs> there we go so it just pops open like that and the light comes from there but you don't want to keep the light near the polish so I'm gonna put the polish this side and then keep the little light over here you can obviously always if you want to just hold it like that just depends on preference I guess okay so always when you buy new nail products you need to shake it because they sit on the shelves for way too long and they need to be shaken okay so this one was 85 rand it's about seven dollars i got this at chinatown i will link the address down below for you guys if you are in johannesburg okay so i'm gonna take a very small amount and just go for it and then before I go on to the next nail I will cure it for a few seconds this light is a 45 second cure light and it will go off when the 45 seconds are up so that's pretty cool okay and then I'm gonna go on to the next nail and I will do that the rest of my hands. Okay, so before you do the final coat, I normally do a clear UV top coat, but I cannot find mine. So if you don't have a clear UV top coat, this is another trick that you can do. You just buff the top layer of the gel. So I already finished this hand. So as you can see, it's very like shiny and this one is a bit dull. So what you wanna do is, before you do the final coat, you wanna make sure the surface is very even. And then do a very, very, very thin coat as your final coat. Okay, so normally once you've finished with the final coat, your nails will be sticky to the touch. So what I do is I just take some alcohol, this is just normal rubbing alcohol, and I take a little cotton round and I spray a little bit on there and you just wipe off the stickiness. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love my nails. They are so pretty and it's like the perfect nude, you guys. I cannot believe I picked such a perfect nude. Um, as I said, I went to Chinatown to buy all of these things, but I will link down below things that I can find on Amazon. You, you must know in your area where you can find things like this. It doesn't matter the specific brand. It's more so the technique you apply. So I went to Chinatown. They have so many different, 
you know, choices and arranges and varieties of colors and types and all of that. Um, I will link the exact address down below where I went if you guys want to pop in there. But I mean, you can go to Planet Nails, you can go to anywhere basically. My hair is so fluffy, you guys. Um, this top, by the way, is from Shein. It's just like a oversized um, Kanye West wannabe type of top and this cap is from refinery and nails are by me <laughs> i hope you guys have a beautiful day thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye